Welcome to Isman 20's channel. Guess what we have for you today? Unboxing video! <laughs> Special effects are pretty cheap in this, uh, this studio. Alright, first things first. This is, uh... You know what, I don't know what this is, I'm just gonna open it up. <laughs> These are glasses. <laughs> you know what these glasses are for? These glasses are for the sole purpose of making somebody who everyone thinks is kind of dumb look a little bit smarter. <laughs> yes. Yes. Tell me. Do I look smarter? <laughs> yeah. Right? Look like I'm a freaking genius now. <clears throat> Ask me anything. Mmm, indubitably. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See? I look so smart. Alright. <laughs> Alright, the next thing. Ooh, this one's heavy. Let's see what this one is. This one has something to do with tools. Okay, nothing in that one. Aha! Okay, so this is a bullhorn joiner. This one is definitely old school. I do not believe that they make these anymore. Uh, this is for small joints, most likely for brick. Uh, if it's a tiny joint, you use this end. If it's like a probably like a three ace joint, you use here. Okay, so that's this one. Put that right there. And here's another bullhorn joiner, definitely old school. I don't know. It says uh, 1935 on it. I don't know if that means anything to you. Dasco. Uh, Dasco is still in business. They make a lot of ch chisels. You can see those around a lot. Um, but, uh, so it has a little bit of use on it, a little bit of rust. Definitely still good. I don't think that it's enough use on it that it would be, uh, no good. Um, if you do get a little bit of rust on it, you can take, like, a piece of sandpaper. Maybe 120 grit, I guess, and, uh, Put it in a vise and then take the sandpaper and like, and that'll smooth it out pretty good. I've done that before, and uh, but I like this size because it fits in your pocket nicely. Both of these sizes are pretty good. I would say this is probably like a five eighths um, down to like a two eighths. So uh, very versatile tool. Okay, I know what's in here. Barbell joiners. Uh, two sets of barbell joiners. So these craft tool, craft tools, craft. They've got everything. Craft tools. They carry rows of Marshalltown trowels. Uh, so this is basically just a piece of probably quarter inch. Um, stock steel with a couple of metal balls welded to it um you could probably make make these i could probably make it um just don't really have the time but the thing with these <clears throat> it's advertised this is a joiner just like this is a jointer um less popular this used to be more popular but this is less popular even more advertises saying that you can use it with more strength on the joints. I haven't really seen it being that great for striking joints. 
you know, for like a big wall, but very useful in uh, up in ceilings, um, in tight spaces and corners where you can't get a normal shaped S joiner in because you have to have like eight inches, 10 inches of arm length of, of hand length to get the joint struck. Sometimes you can't, you can't get your hand in there and you end up kind of just scraping it out. It doesn't look good. So you use this, <clears throat> use the ball, and it works better when it's a little bit wetter. You take the, when the joint's still wet, you know, strike it quickly, sooner. Lay that brick in there where you can't reach, and then you can, you can strike that joint with this. Then brush it, and then strike it again. And it, it looks pretty good, uh, especially up in the ceilings, where you can't get your hand, uh, or, or you can't reach. You can get a little bit more reach with this. So that's why I have this. Um, I do get out of, get out of there. I do a lot of uh, kind of like the, the hard stuff I mean, in crevices and places where you know it's not easy. Like maybe I consider myself not a numbers guy. A numbers guy. I get 150 every day. Yeah, you do, but they're the easy ones. You know, they're the ones that I could teach my grandmother to do. So. You, you find yourself up in the crevices, up in the ceilings, and, the, and around a lot of plumbing, conduits, rafters, beams, and stuff. You can't get your hand in there. Uh, barbell joiner is definitely the way to go because uh, then it, everything has a nice finished look, especially if you want that next job. You want those joints to be struck nice, all right? So uh, that was my unboxing video. And you can, you can be sure that this was all correct and uh, educated stuff because uh, I'm wearing glasses. So you, that means I'm smart. So.